Coming up on this week's episode, a celebrated path to wings, USAF pilot training makes history. Also, first female Italian Navy strike fighter pilot earns wings of gold. And 93 Cap Cadet scholarships worth $155,000 were awarded. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training. This is a weekly program dedicated to all things flight training from future pilots, current pilots, and to anyone interested in the aviation world. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Just a few days ago, seven airmen made history as the first accelerated path to wings program to graduate, and they transitioned from students to Air Force pilots during a ceremony on March 12th. Nicknamed the XPW program, the course is part of Air Education and Training Command's current pilot training transformation efforts and consists of students complementing an undergraduate pilot training curriculum that only utilizes one airframe, the T-1 Jayhawk. Traditional UPT is a three-phase program that produces pilots in 12 months. The XPW program is done in two phases and graduates students in about seven months. The first phase in XPW includes pre-flight academics where students learn general aviation terminology, after which students go directly to the T-1 aircraft, skipping the traditional route of flying the T-6 Texan II. At the 12th Training Squadron's simulator branch, the students developed extensive training profiles, allowing them to practice and be certified as proficient in the aircraft. Once students make it through the required simulator training, they go on to fly the T-1 under the guidance of the 99th FST team. After receiving their diplomas, the new pilots followed a tradition called breaking the wings, which originated decades ago when the Army Air Corps first started issuing pilot wings to young graduating aviators. After the break, WAI concludes first virtual conference with massive scholarships. I'll have those numbers after the break. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the flight training industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. At the 32nd Annual International Women in Aviation Conference, 101 scholarships were distributed to WAI members at every stage of life for both academic use lifestyle enhancement, and flight training, including type ratings. More than $475,000 in scholarships was awarded during the conference, and another 48 scholarships totaling $256,000 are now online with applications due on May 18th, so time is running out. These additional 2021 spring scholarships will put the total scholarships awarded since 1995 to $14 million. FAA announces effective dates for final drone rules. The final rules requiring remote identification of drones and allowing some flights over people, over moving vehicles, and at night under certain conditions will go into effect on April 21st. Remote ID requires identification of drones in flight as well as the location of their stations or takeoff point. 
The operations over people rule applies to pilots who fly under Part 107 of the Federal Aviation Regulations. The ability to fly over people and moving vehicles varies depending on the level of risk a small drone operation presents to the people on the ground. CAF awarded $500,000 matching grant from Ray Foundation. The commemorative Air Force has announced a generous $500,000 matching grant from Ray Foundation to aid in funding the Henry B. Tippy National Aviation Education Center at the CAF's headquarters in Dallas. The Ray Foundation will match all funds raised dollar for dollar up to $500,000 received through December 31st of this year. The CAF has raised $13 million against a campaign goal of $14 million. The gift comes as the construction of the education center nears completion this spring. This will definitely get your heart pumping. Inaugural National Aerobatics Day is just a few months away. Want to add some excitement to your life? Aerobatic flight will be celebrated on Saturday, June 26, during the inaugural National Aerobatics Day, as announced by Jim Burke, president of the International Aerobatics Club. IAC has established National Aerobatics Day as the fourth Saturday in June each year. It will highlight the dedicated pilots who fly these precision maneuvers, as well as the ground support teams that make it possible. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. First female Italian Navy strike fighter pilot earns wings of gold, accomplishing a huge milestone. The Italian Navy's first female strike fighter pilot received her wings of gold after completing undergraduate flight training with the Tigers of Training Squadron 9 at NAS Meridian, Mississippi. Rabala conducted her final graded curriculum event in a T-45C Goshawk jet trainer aircraft on March 10th. She returned to her squadron mates awaiting on the training Air Wing 1 flight line for a traditional soft winging ceremony, during which Angerman presented Rabala with a fabric patch emblazoned with the wings of gold. Being the first female Italian Navy jet pilot is an amazing feeling, Rabalo said. My desire is to be the first one of many, and I hope I'll be inspiration for many other women in all lines of work. Not because I'm special, but for the exact opposite. I came from a small town with no military background whatsoever, and with willingness and hard work, I was able to make my dream come true. Rabalo is from Alba in the commune of Piedmont in northwest Italy. Aside from her father and uncle's compulsory one year of service, Rabalo is the first in her family to dedicate her career to military service. Each year, the Italian Navy sends approximately 10 officers to the United States to begin pilot training under Chief of Naval Air Training. After these messages, CAP Cadet Scholarships awarded. I'll tell you how much after these messages. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at swiftfuelsavgas.com. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting, with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as 5 hours of endurance. Learn more about what the Pipistrol Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrol-usa.com. Welcome back. Nearly 100 Civil Air Patrol cadets from 35 wings are receiving academic and flight scholarships worth a combined total of more than $155,000 this year. 20 more cadets were recommended for acceptance to the U.S. Air Force Preparatory School in Colorado Springs. In all, 61 academic scholarships account for about $120,000 of the total amount, 
with 32 flight scholarships totaling the remaining amount of about $35,000. You had a tough competition and you should be proud of your selection, Major General Mark Smith, CAP's National Commander and CEO, said in a congratulatory message prepared for the scholarship recipients. Cadet programs received 448 scholarship applications, of the applicants, 93 had a 3.8 or higher GPA and an SAT score of 1,311 and or an ACT score of 28 or above. These scores put our scholarship applicants on an academic par with U.S. Air Force Academy entering freshmen, Smith said. In addition, 47 of the flight scholarship applicants indicated they have piloting experience equivalent to the CAP pre-solo badge or more. Judging by the competition, your accomplishments place you at the top of the best of the best, Smith said. That does it for our show today, your one-stop shop for all things flight training. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to leave a comment. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.